Dr. Anna Maria Clement founded the first living food organization in Scandinavia and has been co-director and chief health administrator of Hippocrates Health Institute for the past 32 years or so. She's also one of the leading experts in live blood cell analysis, a revolutionary technique in the comprehensive assessment of a person's state of health. I think of all the new things that I experienced personally at uh, Hippocrates, it was the live blood analysis that really opened my eyes because I, I saw some things about my own body that I had no idea. And Anna Maria, of course, is also an author and much sought after international lecturer. In addition to all this, what first really drew me to Anna Maria is her dedication as a mother. She has three grown children and one who is my daughter's age. What is he now, about 11? Yeah, you got it. Yeah, he turned 11. Yeah, mine's almost 12, so I'm trying to track there. And, yeah. there, and, the, and the perfect health of your children is an amazing tribute to the Hippocrates lifestyle. But, uh, Anna Maria, could you tell us a little more about yourself, how you ended up here? How I ended up here in America? <laughs> well, you know, it's so great. It's so great, to, you know, to be able to share some of this today. Um, started off in Sweden, became a vegan vegetarian at 15, more or less fumbled into it like most people do. You know, read the 5,000 books and, and <laughs> try to find your way in there and, and uh, you know, get probably more confused after each book because everybody has their own own way <laughs> of looking at health. And uh, so then I thought, well, after high school, I wanted to study with people who had experience, who were working in the field and who saw people every day. So I thought that makes sense. So I came to a lady that healed herself of rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, she was so crippled at 50 years old that her, to her whole body was totally crippled and uh, closed up, and her jaw had closed. So she yeah. had to change her lifestyle. And then uh, she came from Denmark, and were, the people in Sweden begged her to open a clinic to help so many people that were crippled with the arthritis there. And, of course, as she's working, uh, she sees, you know, all kinds of problems that she can help with the same things that can help arthritis. So she helps asthma, she helps psoriasis, she helps everything under the sun except cancer because in Europe I think there was an untold law that you touch, you can do everything alternative but don't come near cancer. That is totally allopathic. So I'm mm -hmm. more. Long story short, Anne Wigmore came to Sweden in 1976 to have her first lecture there, and she healed herself of colon cancer. So, of course, she would tell the whole world how they can heal cancer. And it was like the last part of the puzzle for me. It was I understood it immediately, and I really wanted to come and practice with her. So I was stuck at the clinic in Sweden for, for a few more years. We did so many research. We had incredible results, and uh, I just had to be a part of that. So 83, I finally could come over to Boston, where the Institute used to be, and I wanted to practice with Ann Vigmore, and I thought I'd stay there a few months. Well, then I met Brian, and uh, I never made it back. <laughs> so <laughs> there, it was uh, it, the best thing that ever happened to me, and uh, we moved the Institute from Boston down to West Palm Beach, Florida, so that's where uh, it is now since 22 years. And uh, this, we could grow here. We could be outside. We could have pools. And uh, we love Boston. We always have to go to Boston. We miss it. But, you know, it's, it's a different climate down here, obviously. <laughs> 